Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ Breaking News. Well, it's an effort to protect police in honor of a fallen Baltimore City officer. And tonight it now moves through Annapolis, but with several changes. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ News at 7 and to all of you streaming us tonight. I'm Nicole Baker. Here's the deal. The original law would make it so that anyone who targets a police officer killing them would not get parole. And that's not the case anymore. Things have changed now. WJZ live at 7 o'clock. Kelsey Kushner breaks it all down for us. Kels. Nicole Rick, well, the new bill now says that the family members, the children of a slain police officer, will now receive a college education. That, of course, is a dramatic change from the original bill. Frustrations rise in Curtis Bay after the bill that honored Officer Kiana Holly, who was killed in the line of duty there in December, was revised. Basically, telling people out here to go ahead and shoot up a cop because I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to have. Parole, so it doesn't matter. The original bill, sponsored by Senator Bill Cassidy, would prohibit parole for individuals who target and kill or conspire to kill a police officer for simply being a police officer. During today's floor session, the Senate approved an amendment to the bill that replaced that language of the original one to now expand the state scholarship fund for the children of a fallen first responder or police officer. Cassidy tells WJZ the vote was shocking. At a time when we're facing extreme shortage of police officer and, and rising violent crime by telling the children of our law enforcement officers that we're not going to stand behind mommy and daddy, but don't worry. If they get killed, you get free college tuition. Now, we did reach out to the state lawmakers who supported the changes in that bill, but we have not yet heard back. Reporting live at 7, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.